two. Uh, our name of our toy is uh, a Flappy Bird. And we have a chain drive. And. Yeah. And Alright, this is a Pac-Man pull toy. We used a bevel gear on the bottom and a chain wheel to make the Pac-Man move. One. Introducing the Dank Condor 9000. So, powering this thing, we have um, I, um, I'm sorry, a simple gear on an axle, pushing a bubble gear, which is inside the paper, and hopefully get to work. Keep spinning the top. Yeah. <laughs> Colors. So this is Carrie the Carousel. She likes carrots and cantaloupe. Yeah. Okay, so there's three chain drives on it and one bevel gear that moves the carousel. And, the um, and there's four horses. <laughs> and everything spins. And the horses spin. Awesome. It can't turn very well. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is the tank it. It um, was supposed to have um, treads, but it epically failed, so now we just have wheels spinning the tank around and around. It has uh, simple gears all the way. Okay, so our toy was named Miss Pac-Man. And the gears that move um, is the little ghost on it. And it moves on the train. Drive. And on the back there's another chain drive that is hooked up to the wheel. So that every time when it moves, it's making the uh, little ghost move every time the chain drive is moving. The little ghost in the docks. So this is the Galaxy Spinner 3000. And we use the uh, chain drive. Be because when the wheel spins the chain drive, it spins the galaxy. Or just the Earth and the spaceship. So, yep, this how it works. This is how it works. Got it. Um, this is the tank helicopter and it uses a chain drive and inside the box there's a bevel gear. <laughs> and this is how it works. The name of our thing is the Ferris wheel goo. Um, the gear that we use is a chain drive with an idler. And uh, the Ferris wheel moves because this makes it move and it spins. Mm -hmm.